First pieces are getting laid in the kitchen. We just came through the pantry door and we're gonna work our way all the way across the room. So as we're going, we're just moving all the items that are not out of here yet, like the appliances. But this is an exciting step in getting started on the kitchen flooring. Okay, so we're not going to let the nasty storm hold us back and we're just fingers crossed, <laughs> oh like every finger we have crossed, happy <laughs> that our hydro doesn't go out. We are hoping that the power stays on. It has flickered. It keeps flickering. <laughs> and we're every time we look at each other like, is this the time? Oh, no. But the deck just blew over. The trees are oh bending. It's an absolute disaster outside. But okay, you two family, so we're having another terrible storm. You can see our brook is just going like crazy. The trees are bending. Looks like we're gonna lose some trees. But unfortunately, we literally just lost our deck. On the graves, in the cracks of a thousand leaves, Somewhere in between Our past and our future Rolling over All the dividing things Are you still listening? But we are plunging Plunging? Plunging? plunging. Right now, maybe? We're not plunging Plunging? <laughs> But right now we are moving along with doing the flooring in the kitchen room. We are three quarters away across the room and it looks amazing. Philip was able to do flooring magic and he was able to go seamlessly through this side from the hallway and into the kitchen room, joining the flooring on the pantry room on this side, which meant that even though this is a super old house and nothing lines up perfectly, he was still able to make the flooring go completely straight through into this room. How? I have no idea. Magic flooring install. <laughs> so this is looking great and we are almost over to this side of the room so we need to now sweep up here, move this stuff that we've been using to do this kitchen part today in here now onto what we've actually done. You can see we already moved our washer and dryers all undone over here and we moved the wood that came for the cabinets and everything else we've been using is now on the finished side and working our way all the way to get to the patio door because we are not going to bed tonight until this is done. Nope. And quick note, uh, how gorgeous do these wood beams look with the flooring? Ah, uh, favorite. Where is the line between dreaming and feeling blue? It's four o'clock in the evening. I haven't left my room, but the truth is Okay, so those dark brown wood windows were the only ones in the house that were wood. And so we've painted them white. They probably still need a little bit more of a coat on the sides here and we're gonna be doing some caulking around the outside, but I think they now look like brand new windows and now they match all of the other window frames in the house. And our door is now painted white and we're just in the home stretch.
couple of months ago, I ordered a rug for the living room. I think I mentioned it in one of my videos how I was so excited that I had this really dreamy rug coming and that I had sold the one that I originally had in the living room on Facebook Marketplace to be able to find that rug. I was so excited. I finally found one I thought was going to fit the vibe I was going for to have everything go flow through from living room into the eat-in dining room and then into my pantry. And I had picked three rugs, one for pantry, one for living room, one for dining room. Well, my pantry rug arrived, it's dreamy. My living room rug arrived and it's not the right rug. The company sent me the wrong rug. And to be completely honest, I think I got scammed because they've yet to send me my actual rug. And then I saw the rug that I did order on another website that was kind of like a copy on the identical photos. And then today I found it on another one and I think I got scammed. So we'll see if by the end of the week, my original rug showed up. My dining room rug also still hasn't arrived. And I'm pretty sure that the same shop totally got scammed. Anyways, if they arrive, they're gonna be so amazing, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have some back and forth with them trying to figure out either getting a refund or figuring out where my original order is. I'm not even really sure what's going on to be completely honest. But in lieu of everything that went on, something actually good kind of happened because the rug that they sent me as like the oops rug, not the rug for the living room, I kind of love. <laughs> and it's not something that I maybe would have ordered if I saw it in a photo online, but now that it's here, Philip and I had it laying in the living room for about a week and we were like, oh, it's not what we wanted for the living room. But tonight we finished the floor and we just put it underneath the dining room table and I kind of love it, but I need your opinion. So I can send this back or I can keep it. So YouTube family, I'm leaving it up to you. Do you love it or do you hate it? So I wanna show you just a sneak peek of some of the color vibes that were gonna happen between dining room, eat-in spot, kitchen, into our pantry. Remember that I love vintage vibe, I love Canadiana, I really like the kind of like Navajo style fabrics and so I thought that this might actually go as what I'm going with. And then I wanna show you our rug that we got for the pantry. Okay, so this is just a sneak peek of what the dining room eat inside is going to look like. This is the oops rug. Honest opinions welcome, but it does have my favorite deep mustard yellows. It has the same colors in it of our chairs here, which we're going to be using. It pulls some of the oranges from the leather couch that I have that you can see through from this eat in spot into our living room. And I was really wanting something that would pull through some of the oranges that we're using in that room. It has the creamy whites has a few colors that I otherwise wouldn't normally go for because red is not my favorite color. It's one of my least favorite, but since we've moved here to Nova Scotia and red is a Nova Scotia color, it's kind of grown on me and now I kind of love it. And it's in this rug here, a little bit burgundy red, but really the vibe that I kind of love for red, especially with the Nova Scotia red here. So it's kind of got all the colors that I was going for. And I do love it with our flooring and with the table color now that it's been restored, which you would have seen in our previous video. I'll put the card above if you missed it. We fixed our brand new table that came ruined. And yeah, so this is sort of just not a stage vibe, just sort of just a quick sneak peek to be able to show you the oops rug. And then this is the location on where the Eden dining room spot is going to go. Okay. Do you want a sneak peek of the amazing dreamy rug that I'm obsessed with that's gonna go in our pantry room? Yeah, want a sneak peek? Okay. <laughs> so I still need to get an underlayment that will go, like a carpet underlayment that will go underneath this carpet here. But because I didn't plan on having this one here tonight, I don't have that yet. So that will have to go under like an under padding and then I will need one also to go under the rug that will go underneath the central part of the pantry room. And then this is the rug that I ordered that I absolutely am obsessed with. And it just so happens to pull the colors from the Oops rug. So I'll lay them side by side and you can kind of see my vision. So you can see that all of the colors kind of pull from the rug here. And they're obviously gonna be in a different room. And so I think that from one room to the other, it really does pull the vibe from one space to the next. Again, a little bit of the orange, my favorite mustard yellows. I have the Aztec pattern creamy whites. I really am pulling in some of the colors from the chairs, which is also the same colors as our washer and dryer. So everything will kind of seamlessly go through when I kind of look at it as a whole. So I'm pretty excited, but okay, let me know, comment section. Oops, rug, keep it or send it back. 
<laughs> so now that the flooring is done, the moment of truth is here. And it's now time for me to take the plunge. Oh, I'm kind of freaking out, YouTube family. I need you cheering me on. We're at the part where we are now going to build our DIY cabinets. It's happening. Oh my gosh, I'm building my own kitchen cabinets. YouTube family, if you are not already subscribed to our channel, hit subscribe, follow along. I am literally building every square inch of the kitchen that will be on this side of our room. This is insane. I haven't even like seen anyone that's done this in this type of space and I'm excited to tackle using brand new tools that I've never used before, building kitchen cabinets which I've never done before. Stay tuned, this is gonna be epic. See you tomorrow.